So hello everyone. Uh, today we are here with uh, another lecture, mainly to discuss about the topics, the syllabus which we are going to cover in our further lectures. So before starting and telling you about the syllabus, let me tell you one thing that I have divided whole syllabus of geology into six parts. All right, and in each part we'll be dealing with two branches of geology simultaneously all right so at first i'm showing you the syllabus of part one and part two after that we'll deal with the syllabus under part one and part two once we complete part one and two i'll show you the syllabus of part three and four and so on so at first we'll look at the syllabus of part first and part second and then we'll deal with the topics under them so no need to worry guys i'll cover each and every topic of the syllabus and uh, i don't think there would be any topic left after we complete all our parts covering almost all the major topics of geology so here we are with our part first that is geodynamics and geomorphology so remember guys geodynamics that is something related to the physical geology that is the natural processes that bring some changes onto the earth surface see geo when we talked about geodynamics geodynamics it's actually about the natural processes that bring change on earth's surface and uh, geomorphology that is shape and structure of the earth's surface and the processes that are going on into them so we'll actually understand what are all these things about once we cover all the topics under them properly and thoroughly so let's begin with the first unit that is in the first unit we'll be learning about the origin of the earth of course that is the first thing we have to actually learn that how the earth originated how the earth evolved and everything regarding it see we've got a structure of the inner earth here see the earth's interior so this is the first topic we are going to deal with that is the origin of the earth then we learn about the radioactivity and age of the earth if you want you can note down these uh, points these chapters these units so that afterwards when we are when you are going to revise all the stuff you can just um, tally it from the syllabus which we have here all right so at, uh, after the origin of the earth we have the radioactivity and the age of the earth so actually radioactivity is a process by which we can find the age of the earth all right after then we'll learn about the interior of the earth which is mainly divided into, into crust mantle and core all right there are further divisions into them which we'll actually learn when we'll talk about the interior of the earth after that we'll come into earthquakes okay the causes the effects and the distribution all right after that let's come to our second unit in second unit we have our first topic as volcanoes a very important topic earthquake and volcano they are actually very important topic even if you are studying uh, geography there too you will find these topics of geodynamics and geomorphology over there and they consist a very important part of the syllabus the earthquakes and volcanoes right so in volcanoes we will learn about the types of the volcanoes the products of the volcanoes so whenever there is any any volcanic activity taking place what are the products we will see that okay and the distribution okay the ring of fire and all okay so we'll see that which are the hot spots for earthquakes and volcanoes we'll be learning everything right there 
then we have the second uh, chapter as the concept and theory of isostasy you'll not understand it right here i'll be telling you everything in the coming up lectures here i am just telling you that these are the topics which we are going to cover in the whole syllabus of part 1 geodynamics and geomorphology right then the next chapter we are going to cover is elementary ideas of continental drift a very important topic very much so th these are the some topics the continental drift tidal isospet isostasy and then we have the sea floor spreading and its evidences these are actually very important topic if you are a student of geology if you are preparing for civil services as in taking geology as an optional or even if you are not taking geology as an optional still these topics play a very important role for every student whether you are from geography from geology or anything because these are the topics which you actually should learn that how the continents originated how we get the sea the ocean and everything over there fine so uh, with this we have our unit 1 unit 2 okay now we'll come to unit 3 so in the unit 3 we have concepts of plate tectonics again a very important topic once you learn plate tectonics then you'll actually understand oh yeah this is the reason why we get volcanoes why we get earthquakes why we can see continental drift continental drift why we see uh, the sea floor spreading and all so the, after learning plate tectonics you'll get to know the actual reason all right then the concepts of plate tectonics the types of tectonic plates and the plate boundaries the convergent the convergent boundaries divergent boundaries the transform boundaries and so on okay we'll be dealing with them separately then we have the mid oceanic ridges the trenches and the island arcs mid oceanic ridges see this picture over here this is actually our uh uh atlantic ocean uh, this is our atlantic ocean you see this is the north atlantic ocean and this is the uh, the south atlantic ocean all right see here you actually get an s shape all right this is an s shape you get here okay just a second right this is actually those the, the s shape you get an s shape over here and see This, 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 this. These are actually the mid-oceanic ridges, and they also play a very important role. Fine, we'll be learning about it. Then we have the fundamental concepts of geomorphologies. We have some laws. We have some concepts. We'll, after learning, that we'll actually come to know that geomorphology is based on some very important concepts, right? Then we have the geomorphic agents, the wind. water i mean the running water the glaciers underground water and so on we'll be learning about them separately we'll be learning about each geomorphic agent separately i'll show you where okay then we have rock weathering its types with this we come to an end of unit 3 then we have unit 4 in the unit 4 we'll be learning about the geological work of river river all right a river as actually a geomorphic agent fine we'll learn about geo geological work of river then the fluvial landforms fluvial actually is it is related to the landforms which are created by the geological work of river geological work means erosion transportation right then uh, uh deposition and so on the geological work after the geological work of river these type of landforms are formed and we call it as uh, fluvial landforms the landforms formed by the geological work of running water then we have geological work of wind the aeolian landform the aeolian aeolian landforms are the landforms found uh, formed by the geological work of wind the same work the erosion transportation deposition and all by wind and then we get some landforms and those are called as aeolian landforms then we have volcanic landforms too i mean if you, if you get a volcano right if you if you get a 
volcano like this you you actually get some mountains ridges these are actually volcanic landforms right then you have unit fifth that is uh, the geological work of glacier it is another geomorphic agent okay then we will see glacial landforms the landforms formed by the geological work of glacier then we have geological work of groundwater another geomorphic agent and then we will see karst topography it is actually a sort of landform okay or actually you, you can see you you have a proper model this is actually the cast topography where you see we can see the work of groundwater okay if if you're not understanding it here no worries we are actually going to deal with these topics properly all right then uh, after cast topography we have geological work of ocean and coastal landforms okay with this we we are done with the geomorphology and geodynamics portion all right now next we have is our part 2 that is here we will be dealing with another two branches of geology crystallography and mineralogy very important very very important you know because afterwards when we will be studying about paleontology and petrology there you will actually understand that what was the reason why we were studying mineralogy and crystallography all right so they are actually very important for mining industries and so many other purposes right so at first we have the unit one In the unit one we will be having actually the definition of minerals and crystals what actually they are then the crystal structure and unit cells i know uh, at uh, now this point you won't be understanding these terms these heavy terms but soon you will be actually learning about them separately so don't worry and also these were some topics which you had i mean in your 11th and 12th chemistry right unit cells the crystals the minerals we actually uh, studied about them in our 11 12th chemistry but if you have forgotten no worries we'll be dealing with them again from the basics then we have the elements of crystals then the crystal forms we have crystallographic axis and axial angles okay the axis the axial angles and all all right then we have the parameters and indices system of crystal notations these topics are important for your practical purposes when you do your practicals okay then then only you will understand that what actually these things are fine so this is the unit 1 then we come to unit 2 here we will be dealing with the laws of crystallography fine then the crystal symmetry we will we'll be having several type of symmetry okay when, when we'll be seeing the symmetry through the axis we'll be seeing the symmetry through the planes all right so here we'll see crystal symmetry also here you actually have to make proper diagram see these type of diagrams they are very important and you have to learn to make them fine and i'll show you how you are going to make these type of diagrams then you have classification of crystals and symmetry of normal classes crystal system no need to worry if you're feeling these words are so heavy and huge okay we'll be dealing with them separately i'm again i'm again telling you no need to panic these are actually very easy concepts once you learn them once you learn the basics trust me guys once you are done with the basics thoroughly then i don't think you will be dealing with any of the problems okay how huge or how hectic would be the syllabus is if you are properly done with the basics you can deal everything in geology trust me now we have another topic that is forms of normal classes normal classes and then twinning in crystals then we have unit 3 mineralogy here we'll be dealing with the topics of mineralogy the silicate structures and classification of silicates then we'll see bonding in minerals bonding remember something covalent covalent bonds ionic bonds okay van der waal forces you know you get that something forces hy hydrogen bonding and and so many else things right so we'll be seeing it separately 
then you have isomorphism polymorphism pseudomorphism important topics you have solid solution then you have physical properties of minerals then in the fourth unit we'll see nature of light this is a topic from physics but you actually have a very practical application of this these topics in here so you have reflection and refraction of light okay we are studying in this from your you know from very lower classes you are studying it so this is reflection okay you the light comes and it reflects this is reflection the light comes and it it it, it refracts this is uh, refracts okay this is refraction then you have a refractive index the critical angle the total internal reflection then you have double refraction construction and working of nicol prism a very important topic for mineralogy and crystallography that is the working of nicol prism so guys these are actually some topics from physics if you of you are if you were a science student i mean physics chemistry and mathematics as your main subjects in 11th and 12th then you will be having some acquaintances with these topics but if you if you have forgotten the stuff don't worry we'll be dealing with them again from the basics then you have polarizing microscope R remember something see the uh, you you had one glass like this then the, the light rays coming in different ways like this then you only get lies in the light rays only in one plane something like polarizer right so we'll be dealing with polarizing microscope in here actually the practical application of polarization its parts and functions then we have optical properties of minerals with this we come to an end of unit 4 and then we have the last unit of mineralogy and crystallography that is unit 5 that is um, study of composition physical and optical properties of the following mineral groups so you have to deal with the composition physical and optical properties of these mineral groups fine the first one in here is olivine garnet and mica then you have pyroxenes then you have amphiboles then feldspars and then silica so these mineral groups we'll be dealing with their i mean the composition the physical and optical properties okay this is actually this is a mineral this is orthoclase so pink color beautiful mineral okay so with this we we have a, we had a look to the part 1 and part 2 syllabus and after this we'll start with the first topic of part 1 that is geo geodynamics and geomorphology origin of earth so thank you so much guys i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next lecture thank you so much Thank <laughs> you.